What opportunities are available out there for veteran-owned businesses? Well, like I said, I got a $96 billion pie. I think there's kind of a little bit of everything. You know, it's funny about the lawyers. Lawyers, especially those who are running, you know, one, two, three-person shops, those are the guys we get more contracts out of than the big 100 lawyer firms. Because again, they're looking for specific legal skill. What I tell all the veterans, the size is not important initially. What's important is either the product or the skill that you bring to the table. I tell the story of a little two-man crew. One of, one of my corps called me and said, hey, you got any veteran-owned businesses that, you know, do catering? I got this two-man crew. They have their, you know, food truck. They do really good barbecue. At that event, there was a, a, a gentleman there who was a plant manager. That plant had 5,000 employees. And he said, you know, we have meetings there every day. The union business and the lines and I mean all oh, can you guys come out and you know do a couple of events oh we would love to the last time I talked to him he's now hired eight more veterans he's got three trucks and it's like oh my god I continue to grow if you're a little two-man truck running veterans and you got a food truck you probably should get certified and talk to me because I want to know where you're at and what you're doing. And the same thing happened down in Texas. One of my corporations, if anybody does landscaping, I need somebody to come out here and mow my damn lawn. It's huge, right? I'm some plant, you know, to thousand acres or whatever. A little company called Walmart. Might have heard of them. They actually put a program together that I thought was a phenomenal program. What they did because of this, the volume of business, they actually put a program in place to help our veteran businesses so limit it to 10 stores. Can you supply me enough material for just these 10 stores to test? And I thought, how brilliant. I wish I had more time to work with them and develop that whole program. But that's what I'm getting at. Our corporations, I, I had one today, I won't name the company, who called me and said, I got an idea. I said, you know what, I love you. And any one of my companies who call me and tell me they got an idea, lay it on me. I got three pages of notes. Those are the kind of things that I tell people, don't limit yourself. You want to go fishing, go fish where the fish are. I got some pretty big fish. Come on and go fishing with me, you know? Yeah, I got this other one called Apple. Oh, J.P. Morgan Chase, Coca-Cola. I got these automotive too. I'm going down to see BMW here, you know? I really want to ask you about your upcoming events because yeah. I saw it's based around the Federal Trade Commission. Yeah. Can you share a little bit about what this event means for veterans who are part of your organization? Because you mentioned insurance and, and, and lawyers. The Federal Reserve Bank, we have been working together for the last eight years. What this is, is the Federal Reserve Bank will be there. We're bringing in other federal agencies. We're bringing in all the insurance companies. We're bringing in banks. We're bringing in all these other corporations that people wouldn't necessarily think that they would want to hire veteran businesses, but we've seen millions of dollars in contracts come out of this. The comments I get from the buyers and our corporations is the most sophisticated group of veterans they've ever met. Because again, who's coming? Insurance guys, <laughs> real estate guys, right? lawyers, people are doing all kinds of leasing agreements. I mean, just the, the whole economic, if you, you, if you look at it as a economy, if you're a part of that as opposed to a manufacturing right but again even in manufacturing they said you ever heard of ford red carpet leasing as a multi-billion dollar business here's the point we will have i believe i have two already signed i've got three more committed so we'll probably have four or five anyways of the federal reserve branches they buy their own stuff it is a amazing what they buy. First time I talked to them, they actually called me and asked me if I had any veterans that made ammunition. This is a great event, especially for those who are in the financial world or institutional type of, uh, uh, of arena, if you will. One of my one of my vets called me and said he just got hired to underwriting the $2 billion bond issue. The other one is what we call our national matchmaking event. And I'll tell you, that's what we call the largest matchmaking service certified veteran business matchmaking event in the country because here we, we will have a lot of uh, these large corporations, not only all the automotive, but the banks and, and all these companies will be at this event because they want to hire veteran owned businesses. And we'll be down in Louisville, Kentucky, November uh, 8th and 9th. We recommend that you go to my website. Registration is open. If not, it will be for our national event.
obviously the event on August 10th here in Detroit is live. It's actually in the bank. And if you've never been inside the Federal Reserve Bank, it's just fun to be there. It's like, oh my God, it's a whole different world. What we got is a fulfillment of a promise. Our corporation said, they will help us and they've done that. And so those two events, if you're a veteran owned business, you do not have to be certified to attend by the way. So if you wanna just come in and check us out, come out and check out the corporations and who's there doing business with us and, and looking for veteran business to work with, you're gonna have two shots this year. Just because you're getting certified, don't expect you know the sky to open and in a, in a ton of money come falling out and land in your lap. That don't happen to So you get out and work it. It's, it's like any other sales thing, all that does it's again, it gives you access. And if you do something they like, or you got a skill that they want, they'll at least talk to you. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this one, check out these videos right over here. And we'll see you in the next video.